Hello everyone, meteorologist Kenny Miller here with your Tuesday evening one minute forecast. I'm going to start things off here looking at our NDDOT roadmap. Still seeing lots of ice and snow covered roads in the Bismarck area back towards the east as well. Mainly snow up towards Devil's Lake. Some ice and snow still in the Jamestown area. These, con these conditions will probably persist really into Thursday before temperatures get above freezing and we get some of that melting. So if you are heading out tonight or really all day tomorrow, definitely maybe leave yourself a little bit of extra time to be cautious with some of those ice covered roads here. Our lows that are going to get quite chilly across the board here, seeing below zeros really across the entire eastern half of the state. Some slight positives out towards the west, but look at Medina sitting at 14 below for that low tonight. Temperatures tomorrow will get a little bit warmer, definitely warmer than we saw today at least. We're seeing those 30s and 40s really across the state here with those warmer readings out to the west. Central areas will maybe get close to that freezing mark, so maybe a little bit of melting as possible down towards the south central portions of the state tomorrow. Looking ahead to Thursday, though, we get much warmer here back into the 50s and the 60s for us here. 55 for a high for Minot on Thursday into those 60s in that southwestern corner. So a lot of that snow and ice should all be but gone by the time we get into late Thursday and into early Friday here. If we go ahead and look at our 10-day temperature trends right now, a bit of a roller coaster pattern here over the next 10 days or so. Getting into the 50s for Thursday and Friday. Cooling off though for the weekend and the starts in next week and we are watching this potential for a Colorado low to impact us maybe Saturday night into Sunday with some accumulating snow potential with that system. There's still some ambiguity with the models with how the overall pattern is going to set up here, uh, but the odds are increasing that we will see some accumulating snow here on Saturday and Sunday. It's, it's, it's all going to depend on where it sets up to help us figure out exactly who's going to get the brunt of that system, but we'll have all the updates for you as they come in coming up in the coming days here on KX News.